My name's Doug Smith. I used to be an area sales manager, then became a national sales manager for a big importer, PMS International, down in Essex. It was just a conversation one day, just before Easter, four years ago, I think it was, when uh, my partner at the time, who I got married to last month, uh, she suggested that I build a small bar in the garden. And uh, then on the Thursday of that week, uh, which was just before Easter, well, with a meal of our, with a meal with some very good friends of ours, Kath and Russell, and Russell was quite a good joiner. We were telling him about this idea, and Russell said, "Well, let's have a competition to build the best bar." So I started the next day on Good Friday. Four years later, he still hasn't started. That's how it started, and it's just grown from there. Blackpool holds a very big part in my heart. I did a lot of work there when I was younger. Worked on the promenade and. And fond memories of it and then built the pub and then the, uh, I started reading about this tower that had been found down in Cornwall on a scrap heap and then it, then it went to Birmingham then it got to Preston and when it got to Preston I really got excited and chased it up and a week later I bought it. It was in a terrible state then. Uh, a lot of the metal work had to be repaired, replaced even. It had to be painted, sandblasted and then painted. So. Uh, that's the story behind the power tower, and then it arrived at Earl Smithers. <laughs> the biggest, the biggest challenge, certainly at the beginning, was trying to get it square because my uh, experience of woodwork was very limited. You know, I made a, the old rabbit hutch and things like that for the kids when they were young, but really I didn't have a lot more experience than that. So it was one of those situations I just learnt when I went, to, you know, went along, uh, brought professional help in for things like electrics. I didn't take that on. But uh, yeah, most of it was done with by myself and a few friends. Super. I'd like to think we've nearly got everything that most authentic pubs have, Irish pubs have. We've got uh, draft beer, we've got handful beer, we've got uh, a treble fridge. Basically, if it's in a pub, it should be here as well.